David here, Dugass Life and Death. Thought I'd do something a little bit different this time. Um, keep the content evolving so we don't get stuck on one thing. Um, I'll be getting back on um, some of the uh, vintage haul uh, videos. I'll be going back over to Leonard's house this uh, weekend to collect some more boxes to bring back and share with you the goodness. Um, so a lot of you guys don't know, I uh, just moved back to Texas and um, so my household belongings um, uh, will be here on um, this Friday, uh, the, um, what is it, the, the 5th of um, November. So what, what I guess what I'm trying to say is all of the cars um, I've been showing lately are cars that I have gotten picked up in the last three months because my collection of, um, call it a collection, um, the ginormous amount uh, of obscene <laughs> die cast that I own, um, <clears throat> excuse me guys, um, is going to be here on Friday. And I will start... Uh, getting organized, getting things unpacked, getting the house put together. Um, uh, and, but I will be getting some content out because I have some cars in my collection that's showing up that I know I want to share with y'all. And, um, I think you're going to be very interested to see this collection spans. Um, I'm, I'm 57 now and I know I've got cars in my collection that, uh, I owned as, as, as a child. Um, so this collection has been going for 50 years. It, it, you know, probably 50 years at best. Um, and I think you can understand that 50 years of collecting, um, you can amass a lot of stuff, but today's topic, um, I thought we would take these four Mustangs, three of them are GT 500 Shelby's. This one over here, uh, this green light is a, is a Mach 1, but I don't have a Shelby GT500 um, green light uh, here in the house. But I thought it would be interesting to take a look at all different manufacturers from green light to mini GT. Uh, this is also not a mini GT, but there, there's a reason why I wanted to do this one because Auto World here, these two are the same color, I think. So um, I thought it would be neat to be able to set these cars side by side and look at them with you guys so you can decide you know is the is the the green light a bargain um the, i paid 7.99 for it as you can see from hobby lobster lobber hobby lobby but um i call it the lobster um you know so this and the auto world are comparative in price as far as in the marketplace um the mini gts are obviously a little bit more expensive so the question is is it worth it? Well, we're going to find out. Well, I already know what my thoughts are, but I, we're going to go through these together and we will um, take a look at them and we'll set them side by side and uh, get a good, get a good, uh, you know, manufacturer's um, comparison. So we're going to start with the auto world. So I'm not going to deny I have a um, enormous amount of respect for round two on these auto worlds. Um, these auto world cars to me are um, a great uh, addition to the die cast market. Um, I like my cars accurate as far as uh, cars that were driven on the street, um, the way that you would see them driving on the road. And these cars obviously are a step up from the, the Hot Wheels um, or the Matchbox cars, even the even the car culture, premium Hot Wheels or premium Matchbox. These are just a step above. Um, they're just, they're true 164. They're extremely well detailed. They're well put together. They're good rollers. Um, and Auto World to me is, is, is a company that, I think um, if you don't, if you're not collecting Auto World cars, I think these are some of the best values for seven dollars, six dollars. Um, uh, 
but so this one this one is in legend lime um here i'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can sorry about this guys i'm still learning how to do all this uh camera skill stuff um it's got the um this has got the factory carbon fiber track package. So you you note the uh, the rear spoiler uh, has the carbon fiber uh, print on it. Um, the black roof, the um, black racing stripes, the black wheels. Um, let me see what. Oh, sorry. Um, just overall great presentation. Um, the hoods do open. Sort of. They're a little stiff. This one. Wow. This one may not open. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Um, it's smooth now. I don't know what was hung. But uh, as you can see, the inside of the engine does have some fairly good detailing. Um, with the white uh, reservoir bottle and the, the silver supercharger. Uh, so not just a black lump in there. Um Headlights are detailed well. Tail lights are detailed well. License plate. What does that license plate say? GT500. Okay. So, um, just fantastic quality little cars for $7. And if you're not collecting Auto World, if you're not familiar with them, I highly recommend you look into uh, what Round 2 is bringing to the table. Ooh, get back here. So, we're going to open up next the the green light and i haven't cut the clamshell yet so i apologize for that just stare at the goodness on the desk right there while i get this other one out um so we're going to open the green light next because we're going to kind of go up up in brands um from auto world to green light to the mini gts and we're going to get a good representation of each company's take on the mustang so, like I said, this one uh, is not exactly like the uh, Auto World because this is the Mach 1 and this is the GT500. So, different engine, different style hood, um, different style wing. But this is just going to be a good representation of, you know, how the manufacturers approach these. Um, this car has the... Uh, the Black hood stripe with the uh, red surround. Black side stripe with the orange or reddish orange stripe, same as this. Um, front splitter looks good. Front splitter looks good. Grills are different. They would be in real life. They would be. Uh, they would be different. Um, hood obviously is different. Back of the car, the wing is different, and, and it would be in real life as well. Um, these have the mirrors are cast as part of the body. Notice how the auto world does not have the mirrors. Um, you're not going to break these mirrors off because it's, it's die cast as part of the body itself. Um, good detail on the, I don't know if you can see this, um, on the windows, you see the, um, the break between the, uh, I gotta get the light just right. Um, between the front, the, the door and the back a little window um, that's black detail on the on the window itself the windows have uh, the correct black detail as far as around the uh, the edges um, nicely detailed um, taillights nicely detailed front end and let me see if I can get this photo yep there it is Okay, so even under the hood, there's some really neat detailing. Um, the engine's got multiple colors. If you look there at the uh, cross brace, the cross brace that goes from shock tower to the shock tower is silver, which is accurate. Um, Diecast manufacturers, I, I have to tell you, growing up, you know, I was born in 66. So growing up, having the most fundamental, um, you know, diecast cars, how far this hobby and the technology has come. Um, I mean, yeah. Do I love my original Lesney Matchboxes? Absolutely. Do I love my original Sweet 16 Hot Wheels? 
absolutely in my red lines and and all of that but these cars just represent something that couldn't have been done back back then um so i think we kind of live in the golden age of um what do you call it um, die cast uh hobby we have access to things that quite frankly um you know I, I, I just feel very fortunate to be, have, be able to get some of these these cars. Uh, so the next one we're going to look at is this Tarmac Works Mini GT collaboration on the, the Schmee 1, uh, 150 GT500 Shelby. Um, this car is in the same green as the... And I'm going to get this Mach 1 out of the way for just for a minute. And we'll put it over here. We'll, we'll bring it back. But I just want to... Put these two side by side and head to head. Um, Mini GT. I mean, real realistically, guys. Yeah, the 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 wheels on the Mini GT are are gray, dark gray, where these are black. Um, oh, what's up in the hood? Oh, that's not okay. Good. Um, the the striping on this one has the the red i don't know if you can see that um has the the red border on the stripes where the auto world does not um the um wing doesn't have the and, I, I, and maybe i'm making the wrong assumption here um this car may not be representing one with the carbon fiber track package but i do believe it is because i i it looks like they tried to do um, the carbon fiber look on the wing. So I think these two cars look dang near, seriously. Um, the um, Mini GT does not have the opening hood, so there's no detail under the hood. The mirrors are, um, are actually a hard rubber but as you, you can see they do move um you you don't want to be knocking these around is i guess what i'm saying they, they, they're not going to just fall off the car but you you know these um on the the mach one you can sit here and not a problem um these if you tap them you'll hear it it's it's they're flexible so um don't beat them up too hard um but um so this car right here runs about $15, depending on where you buy it. This car runs about $6.99, depending on where you buy it. Is this one worth twice the money? I, that's not for me to call. Um, you know, that comes up to each individual collector. But, I mean, both cars look beautiful. Um, this one might be... A little bit better detailed because of the the red stripe on the hood um, you know the red accent stripe on the hood um, but rear details yes um, you do have the inserted lenses on the taillights and um, the inserted lenses on the headlights but I mean guys right you tell me They're just both very well done. And I'm surprised that, I mean, the, the, the paint color is a dead on match. Um, great, great work on both these cars. Um, I'm very surprised that, and I say I'm very surprised. I didn't take this one out of the box before. This is the first time I've held this one and you saw me open that one. So. Um, neither of these have I ever held in my hand until now and had never done a side-by-side -side comparison on these. Um, and I am, despite the fact that this car is half the price of this one, this one doesn't have the mirrors, so, we'll, you know, okay. But beside that, these, like I said, I think the auto worlds are an absolute value. Um, same with the green light. 
this Mach 1 back here. I think it's an absolute value for the for the seven dollars that you, you pay for these. Um, this one is not the best roller in the world. Um, the the Auto World is, and the Mini GT is. But I, I hope, um, and I'd be interested in comments from you guys um, on you know what your thoughts are on how these compare. Um, this other one I'm gonna open up just to uh, put another Mini GT on the table, and let me get this package. And it's the um, Miho exclusive in, and it, this is a wide body, so it's got a little bit different. Uh, uh, so you can you can compare. So if you compare this one to this one, you'll notice um, this one has. Oh man, I keep getting out of frame, guys. Um, this one has a uh, slightly wider uh, front fenders, and that gives you uh, these extractors on the fenders themselves. It's got a little bit uh, more aggressive on the hips. Um, but all in all, great, great uh, presentation. Love the color, um, torch red. This one is um, not... Uh, is that in my hand yeah it, it the front's a little bit down because if you if you don't set it on the table the front wheels do spin um they just i guess i guess when the car goes down they they hit the top of the wheel arch but um there again same lens to taillights same front uh lens taillights but I just wanted to uh, put some content out there that was a little bit different and let you guys see these four cars and decide for yourself is, is the $15 version here. I'm going to do this. Now, which one's the $15 version? Oh, did you have it? Did you figure it out? Now, which one's the $15 version? This is why I guess why you know I know that's kind of dumb, but you know at the end of the day, it's all money that we're spending, and we have to like what we have in our collections. And I know that I don't buy any car, I don't put a dollar out to purchase a car if I don't particularly want it in my collection. And all four of these cars, obviously, they're in my collection, so obviously I wanted them, but I'm very surprised at how close these two cars are when one of them if you can figure out which one and i think you can because it's easy to spot just because of the mirrors but at half the money guys these are a steal are an absolute steal so just a little mustang fun um i've got probably in the neighborhood of um uh, a couple hundred different Mustang castings from the, you know, uh, original red lines to the um, original Lesneys to the transitionals and the super fast. Um, so I've got a lot of Mustangs um, in my collection and I'm looking, I'm very excited about getting uh, my cars back in under my control. Um, so I will be putting out some content. Um, look forward to uh, seeing you guys and um, having you guys experience my 50 year car collection. So with that guys, comment down below. Is, is the price difference worth it? Are you still interested in collecting the auto world or are you gonna go up to the mini GT or are you gonna do both? I mean, I'm obviously doing both, but um, that's just cause I'm addicted to cars. Um, and, you know, uh, if you're going to get addicted to something, these are a lot more fun than getting addicted to drugs or anything like that. So, guys, um, like, share, subscribe. Um, I've got a ton, and I mean a ton, of content I'm going to be putting out over the next couple of months. Well, I, I say months. I've got, yeah, it, it's going to be obscene. 
So I'm going to keep these videos short. Uh, I'm going to try and keep them around 20 minutes so uh, we don't keep you up. And these will be just fun to watch. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. But comment and let me know what you, uh, what you guys think. Bye.